We saw some excitement around the numbers being posted after the bell yesterday, and then reality hits a little bit today amid a macro picture that is worrying. Can you give your investor base, our audience, just some visibility into the future growth story for Zoom right now? Sure. So we were really pleased with our Q2 results. As you said, we beat both our top line revenue guidance as well as our profitability outlook. And we raised those numbers for the full year of FY24, both top and bottom line guidance. And what I think people are, are looking for is long-term growth, which will be driven from the expansion of our platform, our new products, some of our newer products like uh, Zoom Phone, which is our cloud PBX solution, also Zoom Contact Center, which is only six quarters old and already has 500 customers on it. And that is our natively built, fully modern cloud contact center. We have lots of other uh, products across our platform too, like Zoom Scheduler. And all of this brings together a platform that as those products continue to mature, will drive growth. We're also looking for stabilization in the overall macro, as you mentioned, both in the U.S. and internationally, which is really important for us for both segments of our business. And as we work with our customers, as some of them you know, have gone through reductions in their own yes. employees, we help them transition that spend potentially from meetings into some of our newer products. You know, Kelly, the, the Zoom story was really clear in the fiscal second quarter earnings gone, right? So top line growth of 10 percent overall, but sales to individuals and small businesses down 4.3 percent. OK, so in other words, enterprise great, but the individual user every day, you and I falling away. How permanent is that dynamic in that story for your company? So the online segment of our business that you're referring to is about 40% of our business today. And it is individuals like, like you and I that are using the product, but it's also small businesses, which is really important to remember. A lot of these customers buy online and we're continuing to expand the opportunity by adding more currencies in which we sell, adding more products to the platform. So it's a very important part of our business and the team is consistently innovating around how do we bring more products to them and how do we expand the top of the funnel? We've seen a lot of stabilization in the churn rate there. We're down to pre-pandemic levels, which is really great. It's just gonna take a little longer than we expected to stabilize over time though. What about the euphoria that everyone wants to discuss that is AI? How much are you trying to lean into that for your investor base that wants to hear it? Or how much are you trying to be realistic about what it adds to your product portfolio? Yeah, so we think that AI is a really important strategic part of our product portfolio going forwards. We just hired XD Wong, for example, to lead that initiative. We're thrilled to have him as part of our team. And, you know, Eric talked about it a little bit on the call yesterday. We have individual SKUs today that already leverage a lot of AI. We have Zoom Virtual Agent, for example, which is part of our contact center solution. But we also will bring those benefits into the broader platform without necessarily adding a lot of cost to our customer base. We want them to get the benefit from it. And we will talk more about additional features or products that really leverage AI to the hilt when it comes out in uh, Zoomtopia, which is our users' conference in October. Kelly, there was a pretty strong reaction to news that Zoom was pushing its workforce back to the office. You know, many uh, saw that with a sense of irony, right, given the role that your technology played in the work from home era. It, was that severe reaction justified? Do you mind? Are you surprised that people were, were so surprised in their own mind? that you have made that move? Well, we believe that a structured hybrid approach is best for Zoom. We hear from our employees, they want to be together for collaboration. So by structuring days in the office, just two days in the office, by the way, it, it you know, ensures that when they come to the office, they're gonna see their colleagues, they're gonna see their friends. It also really helps drive innovation. We are the best to leverage our products to ensure that we're meeting the needs of our customers who are also in a hybrid environment. And so by leveraging Zoom rooms and new features like Intelligent Director, we're able to ensure that we're being the best possible products to market.